Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in today's video, I wanna take a look at a really cool service called InstaWP. This allows you to instantly create WordPress installs for whatever purpose you may have. For instance, product demos, quick proof of concept builds, or even just following along with a tutorial. This service has a ton of really cool features and they're even backed by automatic. If we look here, they explain the story of getting investment from Automatic, so that's super cool and lets you know that InstaWP is pretty serious about providing an excellent experience. So what is the experience like? Well, let's find out. Let's jump into our dashboard. I signed up for a free account, and I just wanna see kind of what the flow is of creating a site. We'll throw oxygen on it, build something quick out, and then we'll take a look at a few other features of InstaWP. So let's go ahead and create a new site. And it looks like we have some options for pre-installed plugins in a few different categories. That's pretty cool. We'll just stick with the default for now. Let's go ahead and hit create site. And just like that, it looks like our site is ready. Let's go ahead and try opening it up. That was incredibly fast. So let's go ahead and log in. Here's our magic login button. And that brings us straight to the dashboard. So you can't get much faster than that really. So now that we have our install, we can go in here and look around a little bit. But the first thing I wanna do is we'll just install Oxygen really quickly. Drop that in, install it, and then go ahead and activate that. And we'll just choose the default install because really what we wanna see is kind of how quickly the front end loads and things like that. Because sometimes with these sandbox services, they're not really optimized for performance, but we'll see how this one does. Let's go ahead and open this up now that we've set it up. And that was actually really quick. So let's go back and let's do settings, reading, and we'll set our home page to the home page from our design set that we imported. Let's save that. And then let's refresh so that there's actually some content here. And very, very quick for a service like this. Uh, a lot of times these are not optimized for front end delivery. They're more for just kind of trying stuff out, but this seems to be really, really fast on the front end. So that's pretty impressive. Now that we have a site set up, let's jump back over here and take a look kind of at the interface and some of the options that are available. It looks like we can edit the database directly, which is very handy if you're troubleshooting. In fact, internally, we often use sandboxes like this for reproducing bugs for our dev team. So having the ability to edit the database, a code editor, it looks like. Let's see what that pulls up. That's incredibly interesting. Let's see if we can go into plugins oxygen functions. Yeah, and it looks like almost like a full IDE here. So that would be incredibly handy if you're troubleshooting bugs on InstaWP, you'll be able to get in and just take a look at the code and make edits that way. We also have some logging stuff here. We can add tags to our sites. We have auto login, reserve. I'm not sure what reserve does, but it looks like it's a pro feature and I am on the free plan, so we have save template, and then we have some more actions here, a bunch of different stuff you can do. Let's go ahead and look at the templating feature. Let's go to templates. We don't have one yet, but maybe it'll let us create one. So we'll pick the one we just made and use that side as a template, and we'll call it atomic, and save that. Now we should be able to fire up a new site using that template. So what do we have here? Edit, enable deployment, create a new site. So from here, we can just click the plus button and go ahead and create a site. So let's just do that. That should fire up just like the other one did before. But of course it is copying a little bit more than just a blank WordPress install. So it takes a couple more seconds, which is understandable. Now we have a completely fresh website, but it should have everything that our template site had on it. So let's jump up to the front end. We should see our atomic design here. So yeah, just like that, we made an exact copy. So that is incredibly useful to have that templating feature, you can kind of set something up. Even if you're using this as like a quick way to build out example sites for clients or something like that, that would be nice to have your whole stack in a template site with all your plugins you use and just fire up a quick sandbox through InstaWP and then you'd have something to show your clients. So that's pretty cool. What does deployments do? It looks like we can maybe link this up with GitHub. So that's pretty interesting. And then integrations. Let's see what they have for integrations. MailChimp and Adarim. So that's pretty cool too. I don't use either of those, so I can't really dive into that. 
So overall, I think that a good sandbox service like this has been needed for quite some time, and InstaWP seems to be hitting all the marks with the UI, UX, features. I mean, I'm on a free account and I was able to do everything I showed you in this video without any limitations. And also speed. I'm very impressed with how fast the front end loads, which of course oxygen's very fast anyways on just about any host. But like I said in the past, these types of sandbox services sometimes are not optimized for front end delivery. So this looks really good. So again, this is Elijah with the oxygen team, and that's a quick look at InstaWP. Thanks for watching.